Hey everyone, we have a little bit of an unofficial slogan on this channel, which is ask and ye shall receive. Now we had somebody ask us to review, actually quite some time ago admittedly, the parachute waffle towel. We are vampires, we don't put down towels. Some vampires do. Our waffle waffle towel review was one of our most, and still is actually, one of our most popular videos for some reason. People really love these things, and for that matter so do I, but nevertheless, this one is the king of all the waffle towels. This is the Imabari from the Citizenry. And then this one is the Parachute waffle towel. And already off the bat, I can tell you that I like the Imabari more. But go ahead and stay tuned for some more details as to why. One reason why I like the Imabari towel better is because in general it just feels a little thicker. It's more, more plush, more tough, it doesn't stretch as much, it just kind of feels like a sturdy beast of a towel. Whereas the parachute towel kind of feels a little bit closer to the onsen towel. It's like a little, I don't know, it's got like a little bit of like stretch in the material, like as you're using it, does it, feel, like it almost feels like too flexible as it's like going over your body. And I don't know, I'm just like, I'm just not like sold on it. It's, it's not bad, like don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't feel quite as like beast or robust as the Imabari towel. Now one reason for this toughness might be that the Imabari towel is about a 490 grams per square meter, 100% Pima cotton, by the way, that is made in the US, or rather the cotton is sourced in the US, and I guess the towel is uh, made in, in Japan. Whereas with the parachute towel, it is about a 240 grams per square meter, a long, sta uh, long staple Turkish cotton. So. Um, you know, for those that care about the origin and, of course, the thickness and plushness, uh, those, those are the stats. But ultimately, that is why the Mabari towel feels like it's something that could, like, lift, like, a, the Titanic out of the water. Because it's just, it's made out of some really, like, tough material. One of the tests that we did in the original video was soaking the towels and weighing them. Uh, basically, we, we would soak the towels in water, weigh them before and after, and see how much water they actually, like, were, were able to, like, suck up. And the idea being that if it was able to, if it was able to retain more water, then it was probably able to dry you a little bit better. It was like sort of a little unofficial test, but it actually ended up being fairly, um, I don't know, fairly accurate to the the uh, usefulness and like usability of the towel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that same exact thing. Uh, I'm not gonna bother doing it with the Imabari again because you know we already did that on the original video. But I will go ahead and do that on the parachute. And, um, you know, we'll give it a try. All right, so we're busting out our handy-dandy kitchen scale. And if we pop in the parachute towel before we get it wet, it says that it is one pound and one ounce. It's actually kind of a hefty towel. But let's go ahead and get it wet. Now, like we did in the original video, what we did was wring out the towel after we soaked it. We wring, wring out the towel as much as we possibly can. And then the difference between the dry weight and the wet weight is the absorbency weight. And I don't know if this is picking this up on camera, but uh, we have washed this towel now a couple of times, and it's actually still bleeding this ugly clay color as we wring it out. So, you know, something worth noting that if you get the parachute towels, you might want to consider washing them a couple times by themselves just so they don't bleed on, on your other stuff. Probably a little bit more ringing out to go in here, but let's go ahead and just weigh this thing, give it a whirl. All right, now we have the scale zeroed out, so we're gonna pop this thing in, and we have a total weight of about two pounds and 12 ounces. Now, as you can see here, the parachute towel is less weight, but even less absorbent. Now, a couple of other things to go over with the parachute towel is that it comes in a variety of colors, not the least of which is this ugly clay color, which I believe is what they call terra. It also comes in white, charcoal, and I think kind of like a lighter gray. The price of the parachute towel is about 50 bucks. Now, if you compare that to the Imabari towel, which I think you can only get them in a two pack and it's like 130 bucks for two of them, which makes it about 65 bucks a towel, for $15 more, you get what is, in my opinion, a far superior towel. And most people are probably going to want to have two towels. So just in general, your value is a heck of a lot better with the Imabari from Citizenry. So I just wanna make this very clear. I am not paid by the Citizenry. Uh, I am not sponsored in any way or in which way or another. Um, we bought these towels and it just so happened that I actually kept the Imabari from Citizenry as my personal ones just because I like them so much. 
The parachute towel is decent. It is on par with like Onsen and some of these other ones, uh, but the best waffle towel you can buy for the money is undoubtedly the Amabari from Citizenry. Um, I also think it kind of looks the best, but whatever, Not, nor here nor there. As far as the smell test is concerned on these, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I really do feel like the Imabari towel smells less bad after, um, like let's say if you use them for a week, then you know, just let them air dry normally. The uh, Imabari towel uh, definitely uh, smells less bad than the parachute towel. I'm not sure what it is about the material. Obviously they're both cotton, um, but just something worth noting. And as far as dry times are concerned, I was going to do a sort of scientific timing on you know how quick these things dry. Ultimately, the less material there is, the faster they will dry. That is still sort of the case with the Imabari uh, towel. Um, because temperatures, humidity, and a, f a few other factors will vary from household to household, I'm not gonna bother putting times on it. Suffice to say that the parachute will dry faster, but just ever so slightly. You're talking about from 100% wet to 0% wet. Um, it's like maybe the difference of at best, maybe like 45 minutes or something like that. So absolutely not a deal breaker there either. Uh, they do dry faster and also smell less bad than a conventional American, uh, American Terry towel either way. So uh, should you buy the parachute waffle towel? The answer is no, you should buy the Imabari from Citizenry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put affiliate links to both just in case. Uh, we obviously would very, very much appreciate it if you were to buy the towels from our affiliate links. Uh, they help support this channel and allow us to continue to give you unbiased and what I think is good content. But uh, either way, if you have any questions regarding the parachute, reach out to us in the comments section and we will be back with another video really soon.